Hey, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Christina Kent, and I'm an artist based out of San Francisco. And today I wanted to talk about something that I think impacts a lot of artists and that a lot of us think about, and that is originality in art. I think the pursuit of originality can be the cause of so much suffering for a lot of us artists. Like if you are really dedicated to your work and really ambitious, you can have the temptation to want to create something that's original, something that's important, something that contributes to the artistic canon. Because you probably grew up, you know, looking at work by Picasso or John Singer Sargent or Soroya, these like amazing painters who just have created incredible and inspiring works. And I think it's just so natural to want to create work that is that powerful and that unique. And I also think as humans, it's natural to want to leave our mark on the world, to have some sort of legacy that will live on even after we've passed away. And when I was a teenager, when I was making art, making paintings, I was so focused on trying to make art that was original, that was new, that was sort of avant-garde, that was um, breaking past the things that I'd seen before. I didn't even want to make something if I felt like it had been done before. But the problem is setting the bar to be something that I felt was original was so high that oftentimes I wouldn't even paint because no idea I had was good enough. And when I did start, when I did even finish a painting, oftentimes I wasn't satisfied because usually after a little bit, I would see somewhere online, some artist that had already done something similar. I would be dismayed to learn that this idea I thought was original had already been done. But then I did something that transformed my art practice. I decided instead of focusing on originality to focus on intimacy. And with this, I was really inspired by the painter Nicolas Uribe. If you haven't seen his work, he's incredible. And basically what he does is he paints things from his everyday life, in particular portraits of his family. And here's the thing, there have been, you know, countless portrait painters throughout the years. The portrait is nothing new. And his portraits, it's not like they're pursuing any groundbreaking subject matter. Portraits of people in everyday scenes. I mean, that's been done for generations of artists. And yet there is something so beautiful and transformative about his work. And I think it is the intimacy. Uribe argues that because he knows his family so well, because he's around them all the time and knows their personalities, their idiosyncrasies, he can paint them in a way that no one else can. And I think it shows in his work. They have something so special and so beautiful that I find absolutely magnetic. Are they groundbreaking pieces of work that will be forever cemented in art history? I don't know, but they're extremely powerful. And so I decided to follow his lead. And instead of trying to create some sort of original groundbreaking work, I decided to focus on subject matter that was very intimate to me in my life. I decided that as long as I paid close attention to the subject matter, as long as I focused on things that I knew extremely well that were so intimate to me, it didn't matter if they'd been painted a thousand times. I could still bring my unique perspective to the painting and that's what mattered because the way I see the world, the way I interact with the world is unlike anybody else. And same for you. We all have our unique perspectives of how we see things. And I think that's enough. It may sound really cliche or quaint, but I really think it's true. And when I first started doing this, I didn't think my art was doing anything special. Um, I, I did still have kind of in the back of my mind this feeling that, yeah, you're kind of doing mediocre work that anyone could do. But over the years, I felt my style develop and become something that I'm really proud of. And maybe if I'm really lucky, one day I will make something truly original. But at this point, I don't think that's something we can plan for. I don't think it can be forced. All I can do is show up to my canvas each day and make the work that feels true to me. I can keep following my inspiration and see where it leads. And that's enough for me. But yeah, those are my thoughts on this. I'm curious to hear what you think about the concept of originality and if it's something that you think about in your creative practice. And as a quick note, this video isn't sponsored by anyone, but if you want to support my work, you can check out my paintings on my website. You can like, comment, or subscribe to my channel, or you can join my Patreon. All of these things really help. And as always, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and making these videos happen. If you like my art, if you like my videos, and you want to help me make more, check out my Patreon at the link. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.